everybody, it's Olivia. I wanted to bring you another um, treat bag that I was working on for my Halloween swap that I mentioned to you guys about. This one is actually made out of a paper bag. Isn't that so cute? Um, very easy way to utilize, able to st stock a whole bunch of items in here. Um, again, you can use this for anything. You can put different types of paper, embellish it as much as you want um, in order to make this adorable little treat bag. Um, so you can fill it in with some snacks. Um, if you're doing that maybe for a class party, you can fill it in with a gift, uh, whatever it is that you're going to put in here. It doesn't hold a huge amount, but it is really cute to hold something small. So I just wanted to bring you guys this really quick. So. I had some extra white bags left over from my daughter's birthday party uh, that I am using for this particular one. So the first thing that you want to do is actually cut your bag. So you want to make sure you do not cut this, since this is really the interior of your bag. And it looks like it's going to be really small, but it, it still leaves plenty of space. You want to cut this at the 4 inch mark. So line the part with the flap outside to the 4 inch mark and then cut. This means your bag is going to be about four and three fourths by four inches in height. So take whatever paper you're working with. Again, like I told you, I am doing a Halloween theme, so I'm going to stay with that. Cut off the edge here. So, I want to cut this just a little bit under four and three fourths. And I actually want to leave it at the six mark. Then I'm going to take this and score it at the little bit like four and I guess one fourth mark is really what you want to score it in. Okay. So you're going to take your bag and the bag, the side without the flap, this side, I'm going to take this and glue it on. So now you're seeing the part that has to flap over. Because this bag is ultimately is gonna stand. Like I was showing you guys before. Okay? So again you could take either side, it doesn't really matter. I just find that this one since it already does not have the tendency to fold over, it's a little bit easier to work. Open up this side, press this down, you're not gluing anything here, okay? Then again, this is four and three fourths by four inch height. So get out whichever other paper you're using. Use my stars. So for this one, we do again a little bit under four and three fourths, and a little bit under four. Take that. Oh. I need to trim my edge more.
So you have this one. And you're going to see this hangs over here. Now you can use whatever you want to embellish your bag. Um, I don't have any actual embellishments made right now, so I need to work on that. Uh, but you can uh, use different tags. I'm probably going to make a little bit of tag and put this here um, for connecting this all together. But I just wanted to give you a basic idea of how we made this almost purse-like effect here with a paper bag that you can be able to utilize anywhere. Um, again, if you do use a pattern paper like this, you are going to find that it sometimes this goes backwards, so you may not like this. Um, again, you can kind of cover that up if that's something that you want to do uh, to make it more flow with the process. Make it all one color, completely up to you. I just want to give you another cute little option that we have here for utilizing some of your paper bags to make almost a little purse out of it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to um, leave some comments below and hopefully subscribe so you can see some other interesting ways that I'm trying to uh, come up with some crafty ideas. All right, have a good night, everyone.